I am going to be uh, doing a little bit of a, a recovery. Uh, actually, it's a complete rework, let's be honest. So, in my last video, I did a hexagonal uh, sort of C uh, scape with uh, spume and, and different blues. And unfortunately, uh, I had a large insect land into it while it was still wet. And it was not, unfortunately, recoverable. There was a, an impact and uh, little patters where the, uh, the insect had obviously managed to make its way off of my canvas. So I have uh, scraped the canvas and we're going to, well, we're gonna do another pour. So the last one I did was uh, an open cup. This one I'm gonna do a funnel. I'm gonna use very similar colors, uh, ultramarine, white, silver, and fluorescent blue. Uh, but today I'm going to be using uh, a cerulean blue as the base. So I don't know how that's going to change the uh, the composition, but that's what we've got. So, well, let's start. Each one of these I have put three drops of silicon oil in. I really want to promote lots of bubbles and, and sort of like a very watery effect. So let's see how this goes. I'm using my little uh, uh, little tool that I made so that I can don't have to worry too much about ending up with a uh, paint dripping everywhere. Tops off. Always keep the tops on. Keep the paint as long as you can. It's not cheap. Right. So let's begin. Let's start with white and basically do a white, dark blue, silver, fluorescent blue. Now if you've done funnel pours before you know that the paint comes down the centre of the funnel and that's what gives you that lovely layered effect. Then the bottom of the funnel is under the, the coat of the base so it's going to come up through the base coat and silicon is going to basically bang it through, push it through onto the top. Uh, what was that? Blue, white. You saw my earlier video on a piece I called Troubled Waters. I was using black and dark blues, and it was a very, very different piece. This one, lots of lovely colours. Oops, Daisy, this is going to be fun. <gasps> what does it do? There you go. The lesser of two evils. Uh, <laughs> let's get some silver. I'm going to do one more little round of colour. Uh, and then I'll probably just pop a little bit of the cerulean around the edge because, as I said, uh, it, it grows from the centre, so whatever's at the top of the edge should be the last that goes through. So I'm just going to bring it to the centre of the canvas and then just gently lift it, bounce it to encourage the paint to go where gravity wants it to go, which is down. Bounce that canvas. There we go. You know, I think I'm going to do another pour. Uh, with these things, you know, as you go along, you can always make adjustments and choices yours. If 
Obviously I want this piece to have certain composition. I'm not going to play around too much with the colours. Unless that's the effect you want, if you were going to do a ripple in the middle of the water or something. Then you might decide to change the colour mix. I just don't think i got enough paint on the canvas today. Bring it back to the centre. Hoping you can all see this with the new camera set up. We need a third camera, don't I? Just very close to uh, zooming in on the actual. It just stick into that. Right, so the reason I built this little tool was because when you pull away, it always grips. And this will effectively block the end, meaning that when it pulls away, I should be able to pull away with no grips. Right. Now we're going to be a little bit stretched, literally stretched. around what well, I already had there haven't I? Oh yeah. I do like these big sails around the outside but they're not really what I want composition wise because what I want is the effect of water and they're more I don't know what do you reckon? Definitely not water. But this middle piece is very much water, very much what I want. So I'm going to do my best to stretch this all the way across the canvas, covering up those lovely cells, which would be beautiful on another piece. But as I say, the composition of this one is C side type. Bring this to the middle of the canvas again. Mm. I may have a little bit of trouble stretching this, but let's have a go. Right, now I'm going to try and break up that centre a bit because uh, well, it does look too much like a, it's come from the centre, doesn't it? I always say remember to get a bit more paint on the canvas than you need because it gives you the options options are important opportunity as the old saying goes money can't buy you everything but can buy you opportunity Go. I'm beginning to now lose a bit of paint off the side. See if I can get these corners covered. It's always uh, important that you think about how your piece is going to be finished, whether it's going to be in a frame or not with a hexagonal piece. Mm, it's that would be a, I mean I couldn't make a hexagonal frame don't get me wrong I just it just doesn't lend itself as, as much I think to uh, let's get this going it's good wait back I have got that big blob there and I've Something uh, in the middle there. Uh, don't 
so I'm going to be able to break it up. So let's hope it stretches a bit. Putting paint all over the back. Uh, never remember to tape up the backs. Okay, I'll roll this off the bottom there. There it comes. And see me roll it. There we go. Finish up the corners. Edges. Yeah, I still don't like this blob here, so I'm going to see if I've got enough, which is a pity because I like the bit beside it, so I'm going to see if I've got enough to slide the whole thing off. Don't think I have. No, let's have a go. Tried stretching it, but it sort of stayed together. Okay, it's almost vertical now, so I, I'm definitely running out of paint on this canvas. Come on, you can yeah, nearly there. Always put a little bit more paint on the canvas because it does give you options. And this, in this case, for this composition, I don't want that blob of white, and it's gone! Yay! Let's see if I need to bring that back a bit. Yes, I do. And there we go. A uh, very different piece to the one that was on the canvas last. Ooh, is that a bubble or a lump? Okay, probably not best to put ruler in it. Unfortunately, it's a lump. There's always one, isn't there? There's one little bubble, one little piece of blob, blob of paint. Yeah, I think we can live with that. Especially once we've given it a coat of varnish. Right, now I'm just gonna put a bit of heat across it to try and get rid of any of these little bubbles, which you can't see, but I can see far too clearly. Uh, and it will also promote some little cells as well. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Flame on. Well, I hope uh, you enjoyed. Yeah strange people uh, why would you enjoy that or you've learned something from it or you've seen things that you shouldn't do uh, I like to be a, you know uh, a good example for everyone but sometimes I am lazy and do take those shortcuts and I will get some shots of this uh, close-ups and pop them in, in at the end of the video thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed this video please like and uh, if you want to see more of this stuff please subscribe uh, I'm only part of Goblins of Creation, so uh, please do subscribe and have a look at some of our other art videos. Thank you very much.